Hello everybody, am I too close to the camera? Hello everybody, welcome to Unshackled where we talk about money, motivation and mental health. Today we are going to talk about something which I got for free. How to get college paid for free. Yes, that's true. I'm making this video because I got college for free, basically paid off due to my skills and some things which I've done. I'm from Mumbai, India originally. I came to the United States seven and a half years ago with basically a high school degree and I had to go to college and I had to figure out how do I get my degree. I didn't have the money. I wouldn't get approved for a student loan because I had no credit score, no work history, no bank account. So I needed to figure out how will I pay for my college. So today I'm going to tell you some skills which I used to get my college degree paid off. By the end of this video, you will know six ways how to get college for free. The first way is apply for grants and scholarships. When I say grants, it's FAFSA. I'm sure you have heard about FAFSA and it is hard to fill out the information. Many students that I have met have had a hard time filling out FAFSA because it's complicated and they give up. So to get a grant or a scholarship, the first thing the college or your university is going to say is fill out FAFSA. So FAFSA is basically free application for federal student aid. That's what it means. So these guys are the ones who will assess your income, do all the hard work and give a piece of paper to your school saying you're eligible or you know, you're not eligible. Your parents make too much money or you make too much money. So first to get you know, uh, approved for any grant or scholarship for your college, you need to do FAFSA. Make it happen. Go to your college. There are resources who will help you by sitting down and filling the forms with you. If you're still having a hard time, you can, you know, call FAFSA's hotline, hotline number and they can help you to fill out the form. If you're not uh, eligible for FAFSA, you will be eligible for scholarships and many other grants, but you have to fill FAFSA. You have to work for this. You know, if you want college or tuition paid off or college for free, there is some work you got to do which will make it happen. It's not going to happen easily or, you know, by a blink of, blink of an eye, a snap of a finger. <laughs> the second way you can get college for free is pretty classic serve your country in the United States if you serve your country your tuition is going to be paid off you'll have free health care you'll have a lot of benefits it's not for everybody but it is an option for someone who's ready to you know uh, uh, put in this time and effort there's a lot of resources out there and recruiters who are you know recruiting for Air Force Army Navy National Guard there's so many divisions where you can apply for and once you finish serving I don't know the exact years but you know you can have your college degree paid for you have you know a lot of options on housing loans it's a lot of benefits but many can do it because you know it's a commitment and that's why we are very respectful and you know we thank our veterans for their service the third way you can get school for free in the United States is work for a college. Where, so I'll tell you a short story. I had a friend who worked in the computer lab and I had an another friend who worked in the library. So the benefit for them was they did not need to drive from college to work because oh my class is over at 11 o'clock and I start at 12 I need to go to work my tire blew out or I don't have money for gas. They didn't have these problems. After class she used to go into the computer lab, work there for six, eight hours. At the same time, she used to study there because it's a pretty mellow job. And my other friend who worked in the library, same thing. After class, no stress, just walk down with your backpack, go to the library. You're working there for these hours, you can study. And sh these guys had connections with the college employees. You know, the college, uh, empl uh, you know, the people who do FAFSA, who do scholarships, they were in sight with them. When you're in a site of uh, people who are involved with your college, they have resources which they can tell you to get your college paid off. Working in your college or for a college is going to help with income. You're going to get paid. You're going to have focus where you can focus on your school or subject better than, you know, working at a job and stressing out and not having time to study for your exam because those things do happen. And third, you'll have resources. You're in a college and you're an employee and you'll be the first one to know about the resources which many students don't know about. The fourth way you can get your college paid off for free, I mean you can get college education for free, is have your employer pay your tuition. 
So when I came to the United States uh, seven and a half years ago, I got a job at FedEx where I was a package handler and one of their best benefits and many people worked over there as a package handler or any part of FedEx is for the college tuition reimbursement program. They reimbursed one of the a big portion if you work for them full time. And there is reimbursement for part time. So if you find a company which pays for tuition, research on how much they pay and if it's worth your time and energy uh you know if it's if it's a lot of hard work you won't have time to study so uh what i did was i worked for a hospital now that i know i want to be a nurse i'm getting my experience i work for this hospital and the hospital has a program where they'll reimburse your tuition for nursing or if you go for any other degree so these uh, programs from your company uh, uh, employment you know they pay your tuition is not going to cover your whole tuition some may do some will, will cover but they may cover a chunk which is still you know free you're not you're not paying them anything you're just working for them and one of their benefits is paying maybe six thousand dollars a year so this is basically someone's paying you to work and someone's paying you to go for college so why not use it right this is how you can get college for free. The fifth way you can get college for free is choosing a major which is in demand. You need to be in demand for someone to be, I will pay for these students to become this person. So when being in demand, I mean choose a major where there are tons of scholarships which want you to do that program. Like for me, I'm a nurse. There's a lot of scholarships for nursing because there's a nursing shortage in the United States. There's a lot of scholarships which I got for nursing. I, I got a scholarship through a casino. <laughs> people are like wait why did this casino give you this amount i'm like i don't know why but i applied for the scholarship asking them for this nursing scholarship and i got it and i got to meet the people who one of their employers or representative we have this whole yearly scholarship event where you meet the people who gave you money so i got to meet them and i had this old couple who uh, gave me 500 dollars for a semester if i if i keep a grade of c and above and i met them and you know they told me you know they were so uh, happy seeing me so if you are in demand you will have tons of scholarship so research on what uh, majors are in demand and you'll have a ton of scholarships for those so do your research on what skills are in demand some are like nursing being a physician uh, you know IT you know software there's a lot of uh, places where there are scholarships where if you do one of these majors they will almost pay your tuition in full so the sixth way you can get college for free is I don't I don't think you want to hear this but go to community college don't be that person oh I go to Duke University I go to the University of Chicago I'm gonna go to college there those are expensive I'm not saying those things are bad but if you can pay for it or you want student loans go there I don't care but in this video we're talking about how you get college for free another way is community college as i said you know these community colleges you can just have to do two or three years and they have bridge programs which will you know continue your community college to a university that's even cheaper so when i say attend community college is because uh when i attended college uh, I saw the community college tuition rate. It was hundred dollars per credit. So if it's a if it's a biology course, it's four credit hours with three for lecture and one for lab. So each credit is a hundred dollars for the community college. I researched some universities around me, and I saw each credit was from nine hundred to thousand two hundred dollars for one credit. So if I'm paying four hundred dollars for a course at a community college I will be paying four thousand dollars at a university that's why college is expensive for most people they want to go to universities and they take the student loans and they're like how did I end up with ninety thousand or hundred thousand in debt your family and friends might say oh you need to go to a big college you don't tell them I want to be debt free and I want to get these classes done and most science courses you know some majors may require you to go to a college but I would say 90 to 95 percent of your majors you do not need a nice college name an example is nursing I became a nurse from a community college I did not even get my bachelor's until a year later after I finished my community college but no one cares they don't ask me which college you went to what was your grade did you attend that university they're like are you an RN they didn't even ask me how much I paid for tuition I paid way less for tuition than some of my co-workers who got their bachelor's from a high-end college uh, university and guess what we got paid the same 
so it doesn't make a difference don't show off now you can you know show off with your paycheck and not having student loans this video was uh, influenced through bankrate.com where I saw a list of 10 ideas but I just took six because I think these six are the most important and um, I'll be making more content on uh, skills and uh, techniques of getting free degrees if you like this video please share share to a family member or someone who's going to go to school and take loans and you know be in debt remember student loans are not bankruptable people are like oh I'll take student loans worst case I won't pay it if you don't pay it, your credit is going to get dinged. And if your credit get, gets dinged and you still don't pay it, they're going to garnish your wages. Trust me, if you have student loans, it's not the best way out. So try to avoid student loans. Worst case, you know, take a little bit. But my goal was to get it for free. Please like, share and subscribe or comment on your views. Have a good day.